The north of England, with its industrial history, is not normally associated with environmental success stories, but with the decline of heavy industry, it's one of the few areas of the country where the environment has improved for the last 20 years. Now a primary school with top marks for sustainability is having a much wider impact than just among its pupils. Cassop School in County Durham was founded when the village was in the grip of a coal mining boom. I mean, the, the pit was the pit. It was there. That we were surrounded by them all. Every village had at least one. I mean, this village had three or four. Um, and you simply accepted that you had massive mountains of waste on your doorstep. The debate over where to put turbines and so on um, pales into insignificance when you think what an area like this had to put up with to produce energy. Cassop School is changing that by producing its own clean, green power. The actual generator is in that part that looks like a cannon at the back of it, so it's, you know, the 50 kilowatt generator in there with a brake at the end. This sort of, um, you know, five metres per second type wind, you know, any, any time now it could actually just start and test the wind and it will it will run for you know sort of half a minute and then if the equipment tells it it's not producing anything it will park itself again. Fortunately the school has another renewable energy source waste wood that would otherwise have gone into landfill. The wood which must be free from additives is made into pellets which fuel a sophisticated gasifying boiler on the school premises. This provides for all the heating and hot water. The temperature produced gasifies the, the wood and in effect then it's burning sort of wood gas. Um, and uh, most of the shell of this is, is a big ceramic uh, construction with, with pipes through it. So you've got a whole series of tubes through which the hot air is blasted and heats the huge water store here, which is sort of very well insulated. On a calm day like today, the school needs electricity from conventional sources. But in general, Cassop School is a net exporter of electricity to the national grid. We use this for teaching purposes. We, we take, at the moment, about six schools per term uh, who come and visit us to learn about issues of uh, renewable energy and sustainability. The pupils of Cassett School know all about energy. They get a chance to have a hands-on experience of the technologies the school uses to generate power. Of course, the roof has a solar panel array. The sun shines from the south onto the solar panels, which make the electricity... Um, on all these wires which brings it to the school. Pretty much every day we make a little bit at least. It's also the best place to learn the principles of wind power. Handheld anemometers tell pupils what the wind speed is. Back inside and there's an element of competition. We've got a little experiment uh, called the turbine challenge. We've got two wind tunnels and we've got some aluminium discs. You um, can take off as many of the aluminium blades to see what rotates the best. This is a challenge that's also set to visiting schools to see which design of turbine can generate the most electricity. The school doesn't just output power, it outputs pupils who understand how the school is making a difference. We're not producing as much carbon dioxide as if we're using coal, because all we're doing is putting the dioxide, carbon dioxide that was in the tree to start with back into the air. The whole basic thing is to stop global warming, because if global warming happens, then a lot, of thing, a lot of things that we wouldn't want would happen, whereas some people don't care at all about it and just... And, Thinking that, well, I'd like a spot of hot weather. These villages would be one of the first villages in this area to have electricity because the electricity used to be produced at the colliery uh, long before there was a, a national grid. So we've gone from being, you know, energy producers, um, you know, 200 years ago to being energy producers now. And, and it's nice to look ahead rather than to look back.